Before we dive into part 2, make sure to catch up on part 1 if you haven't already. I decided to create a game based on a Mr. Beast video. Why? Because I wanted everyone to be able to participate in the challenges. The second challenge was a red light green light game from Squid Game. If you don't know what it is, let me give you a quick rundown. You walk through a big place and you need to go through this line. If this creepy looking doll is watching, you can't move. It's pretty fun and totally not deadly as fuck. So first of all, I wanted the game to take place on a ship. But then I realized I'm more helpless than a lost penguin in the Sahara Desert Bruh. when it comes to a pretty modeling. So I gave up on the ship idea and settled on using an island instead. I 3D modeled a fence, which was basically the peak of my modeling skills. Oh, beautiful. And then I took the script from the first challenge and made the AI walk past the red line. I customized one of the AI characters a little bit, but I may have gone a little bit overboard because now he is rotating in a way that looks like his back is definitely broken. For just two pounds a month. You can help sponsor this YouTuber. Now, the AIs are pretty dumb. Just like me, they often walk when the big guy is watching. Hell no, man. What the but that's where the explosion mechanics come in. I don't always make video games, but when I do, I prefer to blow stuff up. Mm. And voila, this is the end result. You know what they say, if at first you don't succeed, blow it up and try again. What did he say? Hey. In the next challenge, players had to stand on a plank. If they stood on the wrong one, they would fall into the water. To make this into a game, I created a platform that looked like the one used in the Olympics for diving. As always, my 3D modeling skills are shit. If you want to see what not to do in game design, just watch me in action. I decided that I need to remake it somehow. As I can't unwrap 3D models yet, I decided to improve its appearance using these 3D models from Helix Studio. Thank you guys. Also added some plants to make it look decent. Then it was time to get my homies involved. And let me just say, their walking algorithm was, well, it was bad. I had to fix it up, which wasn't easy because they are as smart as a pack of rocks. But eventually we got there. And when it was time to throw them off the plank, let's just say it was the highlight of my day. I created a simple algorithm that randomly selects a board and activates gravity in the rigid body component. Blah blah blah. No one cares. This is how it looks like to throw your homies into the water. I'm dying. Help me. In Mr. Beast's video, the final challenge was to find a briefcase on an island. I made the island look nicer and used a chest instead of a briefcase. I added cool effects from Unity Asset Store. One effect shows a real chest and the other shows a fake one that explodes if our not so smart AI body opens it. I mean, who needs a briefcase when you have a chest that explodes? I also improved the way the NPCs walk and search for the treasure. And just for fun, to spice things a little bit, I added a banana that you can throw at the NPCs. At first, I wanted the banana to slow them down, so that you could get to the treasure first. But then I thought, why not make them explode instead? Holy Jesus! So that's what I did. I may not be a genius, but I can make a banana explode. I even made a 3D model of the banana and added an animation. I fixed some glitches with the bananas so they don't float in the air or appear out of nowhere. Check out the gameplay, it's actually pretty fun. Yes! <laughs> 